Hey, what's up guys? It's Number One Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is my class setup video. Um, a lot of you guys really, really wanted to see this, and uh, here it is. I'm really sorry that I haven't, you know, been... I don't know, I haven't made this video. Um, I should have made it like a month ago, really, but uh, it's better late than never, to be honest. I've been obviously been really busy with school and that throughout pretty much the last month, so that's, you know, a good reason as to why I haven't been playing X uh, Xbox or PS4 really at all since I've come back to school but uh, anyways let's get straight into it so it's obviously going to be the honey badger if you were to you know if I was to categorize this class and why I would use it it's just to get you know B score lines and chem strikes it's, in other words just the best class set up for pub stomping so uh, here it is here's my personal favorite class and maybe a few you know I don't know you guys may argue with some of the stuff I use but um I'll go for it. So here's Honey Badger with the four grip and the extended mags. I'm pretty sure that's I don't think that's anything new to you guys. The perks stalker so I can you know strafe left and right and you know dodge and weave bullets while I'm getting while I'm shooting them um, and getting shot at. Uh, amplifier obviously self explanatory every pub stomper needs a bit of amplify. Um, I'm pretty sure every pub stomper uses the headset um because obviously that is the way to play on this game because it's like radar is pretty much useless so you need like a mini radar within your earlobes <laughs> so amplifies the way to go focus there's no really need to go into explanation about that obviously your gun doesn't go flying when you get shot at uh, which is really helpful and you make helps you win gunfights uh, fully loaded now a lot of people would choose scavenger for this um, but personally I like fully loaded because um I don't like running over people's bodies to pick up extra ammo, and plus from the start I just fully, you know, fully loaded. That's what it is. But um, I don't really like running over scavenger packs, and I just like starting off with the full ammo capacity possible. And the last one is hardline, and uh, obviously that's this is the trick with the uh, this is the trick with the hardline that I found. Um, if I was to, you know, use specialist, which is obviously what I always use. I'll unlock sleight of hand and dead eye and I'll unlock sleight of hand at two kills because obviously hardline reduces the kill and dead eye at eight kills but the best part about it is where it says it's bonus at 11 kills it will actually unlock at nine with hardline so that's two kills less to be able to get your bonus and you can benefit from all the perks that you selected within the class two kills early which I find really cool and you guys may be wondering why have I not got dead silence here my logic on uh, not using dead silence is basically because if you're a pub stomper you're going to be wanting to play against noobs not other tryhards and noobs don't tend to use dead silence or amplify a lot so you won't need people you won't have people sound whoring you or you won't have people you know running around uh, with dead silence on so i just don't really feel the need to do it if if there is people that run around with dead silence and stuff like that then i'll just leave the lobby to be honest so yeah that's pretty much it for the perks uh, for the specialist is start of hand and dead eye. Start of hand obviously so I can reload quick and dead eye so I can put more damage into them and you know have the best possible chance of winning the gunfight. Um, for the bonus I have I have to re I have to reselect scavenger. Um, I skip the last uh, perk so I can unlock it a little bit earlier. But at nine kills I'll unlock uh, dead silence. Obviously I will want to use it eventually um, just because it gets more intense and I want to be more focused on the game and um, scavenger so when I do end up I will end up running out of bullets even with fully loaded on at the start I mean I won't be I'll be hesitant to run over people's bodies but then I can run over them every once in a while because I won't exactly run out of ammo straight away so it's always nice and plus when your teammate dies you can pick up ammo from them if you're nearby them I see you just in case sometimes well, most of the time I play Domination, so I'll come across one or more enemy, and if I get shot at by the first enemy, I can, you know, quickly dunk to cover, and if the enemy's chasing me, I'll be able to recover before he gets around the corner, and then I can re-challenge again, so that's why I use that. And Ping is actually a really underrated perk. Um, once again, if you're playing Domination and stuff like that, um, you'll run into more than one enemy, but sometimes the second enemy may not be visible to you, so once you kill someone, they will obviously do a little radar sweep um, within the selected area of where you killed the enemy and it also make a little boop sound if there's a guy there so that's useful if you don't always look at the radar and then you can be you know ready for the next guy so that's basically my class setup I'll give you guys another overview um, 
I know you guys may be thinking why I don't use dead science and also why I don't use ready up is because I use stalker I'm pretty much aimed in I'd say about 40% of the time um, every time I turn a corner I won't run around the corner I'll always be pre-aimed there and that's just pretty much on, on playing smart if you ask me so uh, yeah that's basically it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like if you did and hopefully this will help you out uh, yeah that's pretty much it have an awesome day and bye bye